I'm throwing away here. And is Lorcana collectible? Or is it just playable? Well, today I got a special package of a product that I didn't even know released yet. The new Lorcana set. Into the Inklands. Into my glands. I don't know why they named it that. But I think this was a sign from God. So let's open it. Crazy enough, this set has released on my birthday, so I figure it's fitting. The stars have aligned, I should open it. Well, that's what we are going to do. We're also going to be talking about whether or not Lorcana is collectible, because that is the big thing that I think no one really talks too much about. Lorcana is a really cool TCG that has been released. Disney, one of the biggest IPs, and yet... I don't know. It's been kind of weird in its collectability, or maybe this is just a playability type of TCG, but we're going to get into it. MSRP of this product will set you back around $120, your typical price for a booster box. I do think they do, what, 36 packs with this product, so uh, we'll be interesting to see. I don't even know how to open this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is how we open and it's not even... There we go. So here it is. Oh, oh, oh. Sound like Santa. Put that right in there. Damage every card known to man. I don't even know what cards are in this set, so this will be really interesting to open this. But, talking about playability. And I guess collectability. That's that's the what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, Lorcana is very interesting. There's not really a lot of rares. You have your rare symbol there, but I feel like the rarities are whoa, that's pretty dope. All of them lining up, okay. Uh very kind of weird with the rarities. You got a new rarity symbol, but Ooh, okay. A city. That's the first time I think I've seen a card on its side. And another rarity symbol. Ursula just popping the fuck off right now. And Billy Bones, our first hollow. But I guess you wouldn't really think much of the rarity in this set. There's nothing that really, like, I don't know, that shows, like, a difference in rarity. Because a lot of the cards just seem the same. And that's one of the issues that I have with this game. Is it just doesn't seem like a lot of rarity. Or should I say card types. Now I guess what they're introducing is the new location cards. So new card type location. Okay. So this is the first time. I guess this is our first little gimmick of a side image. It would be cool if they actually do like a full art of these. And just show off the beauty of the landscape. That would actually be pretty dope. I wouldn't mind that. But right now, it kind of feels like there's just not really a rarity. There's your basic non-hollows, your hollows, and then your enchanted. And that's it. And I think that's something that Lorcana needs to improve on to make more rarities of, like, card types. Because, I'll be honest, a common, uncommon, uh, rare version of these, I could not give two shits and i know there's some of them that are like 30 bucks that are like a non-hollow but to me it's like i don't understand why anyone would get that it's just it doesn't to me it just doesn't make sense it's not like desirable it's not you know pretty looking i guess like the images are gorgeous like the art in this is absolutely wonderful tina's place the big diner you got kit cloud kicker whatever that is <laughs> The Chernobyl Fog, Audrey Ramirez, uh, Starlight, and Lucky, the little dog. Oh my goodness. So, I don't know. The rarities are just kind of all over the place. I think they really need more gimmicks in this TCG. But until we see that, it's going to be kind of weird to think, you know, whether this game is really all that collectible it's definitely more of a play oh my god helga is so fucking hot uh it's more of a playable tcg to my understanding 
And one of the great things about this TCG, like that's a very pretty landscape. Like they could do that with these cards. One of the things about this TCG is just the art is so gorgeous. It's like all like made in a way. Like it's all, it's all drawn. It's all new. It's not like they're reusing images of previous, you know, shows and IPs like in like White Schwartz. Everything is brand new. And so it just makes the game, I can't open a pack in my life. It makes this TCG a lot more desirable because if you're a fan of Disney, you love the art of Disney, you're gonna love this TCG. Another interesting thing, every pack obviously coming with a hollow, but you know, with that, oh, that's a really cool card, the queen. Another landscape. With that, it's just, you know, again, there's just not too many gimmicks. You either just get a hollow or you get your enchanted. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. We got a Tinkerbell hollow. I absolutely love Tinkerbell. I bought the enchanted Tinkerbell a little while back when it was actually cheap because Tinkerbell is one of my favorite Disney characters. As of right now, the state of Lorcana is pretty crazy. The prices are just absolutely ridiculous. But in a way, it's kind of like, are they? Because again, enchanted cards are the only real like rarity card, the real chase card. Besides that, there's not really any chases. So some of the prices of the enchases are crazy. I'm just gonna list three, just for an example. You have this Cinderella ballroom, uh, whatever it's called, sensation shit. This card right now on the market goes for $350. Now, in December, for some reason, right before Christmas, all these cards were at their, like, one of the lowest they've ever been. You had that card going for $270, and then in November, when it first released, that card was $300. So you see, like, you know, it started off high, it dropped, and now it's shooting back up. You have the Tinkerbell that I just mentioned, that card currently going for $225 at $250. You know, in December, that card was 140 bucks, which is when I bought it, which is only what, like three months ago. And then in October, that card was at 250, which is what it's at now. Then you have, of course, the most expensive card in all of Okana, which is the Elsa, Spirit of the Winter. Currently, that card is a $750 card, $800 card. And in December, that card was only $350, which was basically half the price it is now. And in October, it was $800. Bucks. So it's weird. It's like all these cards were like up here, dropped in December, went back up. And are they going to stay like that? Well, I think they're going to release more and more. It's going to be kind of interesting because I don't know if they're going to release the base set a lot more. Um, but I could definitely see them doing another run of the second set, the Floodborne set. Oh my goodness, they're just so showcasing a lot of hot women in this set. <laughs> uh, uh, then you got the Queen, another dope card. Oh my god, see, I just love this art. This is just such great art. Alright, maybe they're not showcasing the hot women, who knows. Okay, they're showcasing the hot women, questionable. <laughs> What the hell is this? Magicka Dispel. It's like an emo Daffy the Duck who's like a female. That is interesting. Okay. One of the other things that is kind of... I, I don't know if a lot of people like it or not, but the fact that every card has a hollow, I'm pretty sure. So it's almost like you want to get a whole... If you want to do like a master set of this, you got to do it all hollow. It's like all hollow or nothing. And that's kind of crazy. But it's kind of weird because besides the enchanted cards a lot of these cards are just like a dollar or less unless they're playable like really playable or if they're like the base card i guess of the enchanted because the enchanted are considered like alt arts right so you have your like for, in for instance the elsa spirit of the winter card that card's like a 30 40 50 dollar card i believe but the enchanted is the 800 dollar card really weird how it just jumps up but it it just doesn't seem like card i would spend that much like a normal card like this i just wouldn't spend like fucking eight and 40 50 bucks on unless it's tinkerbell which i did buy but this is pretty gorgeous for a second i thought that said hamburger I, I i don't know that's me thinking about food again another interesting thing though regarding this set as you know i i just can't open these packs maybe that's what they got to do they got to make these packs a little bit easier to open the one thing I noticed with this set right off the bat is that they actually have these booster box finally sealed. It would be interesting to see if 
uh, they'll do that if like for the new reprints of like the first or second set if they do another reprint oh wow that's a really really pretty photo or image i should say i don't know why i'm calling it photo i'm just so used to uh <laughs> they're just bringing out the hotties and then we got scrooge mcdutch the multi-millionaire I, I i just don't know where to begin i mean it's it's tough like i, I want to talk about this market but i'm also looking at all these gorgeous cards so it's kind of like throwing my head off in so many different directions but one of the biggest things with Rokana is their booster boxes weren't really sealed. Like it was easily, not easily, but there were ways that you could just open the booster box, steal some packs, change some packs, and then close it. And it'd be as if like you never did anything to it. So it was definitely some weird things going on with that. But with this, they have the shrink wrap finally over top of it. Kind of like how Pokemon does it with uh, the Rokana logo. Uh, on it so i think that is definitely a huge improvement to prevent like you know theft and um you know, a lot of really shady things going on oh another dalmatian puppy bro are they gonna just do like all what how many Dalm there was 100 dalmatians oh my god imagine you can get all 101 dalmatians in this set that would be a bit ridiculous i did actually like the image that they actually had on these cards in the previous two sets i'm kind of sad that they uh don't include that anymore or maybe they will it's just we haven't been lucky i don't think so though uh, i did really enjoy it. i like how it made an image but again i just really think they need to up their gimmicks with this because right now it just doesn't seem all that collectible you have your really expensive cards and that's about it you know nothing really Oh my god, it, it might be just collectible for these just the art maybe that you know, it's just so freaking gorgeous But that's it. There's no it doesn't seem like there's really any crazy like rarity going on here And then we got the King Louie dancing in the music the hollows are kind of just a generic like hard foil like there's really nothing spectacular, you know, maybe if they want to make the uh, the rarest hollow kind of like a sparkle or glitter like do some different stuff with the hollow patterns at least or do something it's just these basic hollows really ain't doing it for me and i get it like it's the beginning of lorcana the first three sets but i really hope they will expand upon this and make like better looking cards with new gimmicks because this is honestly just rough you know you're basically you're opening these packs you're admiring the art but you're really not going crazy Unless you just see an insane art or you pull an enchanted card, you know, and I don't know what the rarity of the enchanted cards are. I think it might be one per booster box. I could be wrong. Uh, it, might, it might not even be one per booster box. That would really suck. But like, look at that. That is really, really gorgeous. And I have that like a full art image. Oh my God. Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell and her leg. Ooh, okay, we got a hollow. That's all right. I mean, would prefer a like full like hollow, but full art, you know. That's still all right. Like I, Tinkerbell, dear God, what do kids call it these days? The gat. Oh, that sounded pretty bad. The gat. Just sounds like a gun. Like I, I could have swore that was like the word for like guns. Gat, gat, gat. Something like that. I don't know. But also, you know, talking about the products, there's obviously the booster boxes, the single packs. You know, you have your deck boxes, which really aren't even that collectible. Like, they're collectible, I guess, if you just want to buy it as, like, a sealed product. But it's basically just like, if not worse, than buying a Pokemon deck box. You know, like, the deck that comes with, you know, a, a, a deck. Like, that's literally all it is. And the worst part about it is the hollows you get in there, you can get in the main set. So it's like pointless. At least in Pokemon, they'll give you like a different V, you know, it'd be like a V card or EX, whatever showcasing card, right? But at least it, oh my goodness, that is really, really pretty. Um, besides that, you know, you get like a different art in the, uh, different like alternate art V, EX card in the Pokemon. And this, you don't even get anything different. It's just a card you can easily pull. Simba with the fucking packs going on. That's crazy. Oh my god, an Alice. Wow, that is pretty. The only other product that I can think of that has come out regarding Lorcana 
is the Disney 100, uh, which was basically a product showcasing six promo cards with like alternate art variants. Um, and the price on that has been kind of interesting. It's not really like drop, like it dropped, but it's not really dropping, dropping. And it's still hovering around like a $55, $60 like price point. You've got Miss Bianca Rat. Is it investable? I think it is a bit investable. It's one of the first like pre, not premium, but like specialty products I think that they released. And it comes with really gorgeous promos. So I think that collection box will be a valuable product in the future. I'm pretty sure they're printing that to a living hell basically what in the world oh yeah oh. interesting but besides that the cards like the singles of that product are going down um a little bit but you know they're kind of hovering around your 15 to 20 dollar range i actually remember atlantis watching it a little bit not too many people actually watch atlantis because it's one of those like weird alternate disney movies i guess like not like a mainstream disney movie but all the promos are around like 50 20 bucks and it's kind of interesting because if you get six promos and the, each of those promos are around like 15 20 bucks let's just say they're 20 right 20 times six i can't do math but i think what is that 120 right six, uh, 20 40 60 80 100 120 yeah so basically for the price you get out of just buying it like sealed you actually save like definitely don't buy them just outright single you save a lot more money actually just buying the box outright wendy in a captain's outfit uh it's just i don't know oh, okay the queen hollow that's what i'm waiting for hell yeah again it's just nothing too crazy it's like i you know i'm more just impressed with the art more than the rarity or like the hollows or anything but you know, besides that, there's really nothing too crazy. It's just, it's, you, get, you get what you get, you know? You're opening a box with cards and there might be like, what, five big rares in it? One of the cool things with that premium box is that those promos were like alt art cards in a weird way. And they also had signatures on them, which I think would be a really cool addition or a gimmick if they have like these cards with like signatures so like you get like Belle with her signature Cinderella with her signature oh my god like Ursula with her signature like people would go Magic Broom with his whatever sort uh <laughs> signature people would just go like absolutely nuts for it Maleficent Mistress of All Evil it's a bit much and then Mona Hollow and it, one of the things also with these hollows is you really almost can't even tell they're hollows unless you just look at them like differently in the light you know like if i put these side by side like this you cannot tell what's a hollow maybe like that's your dead giveaway but besides that you can't really tell these are hollow and even like kind of in the light you almost couldn't because they're both pretty shiny uh the way these cards are like they're just very glossy but besides that i mean I'm opening this and I just don't really see a lot of value or like, just I don't know. Like I'm not, I, I'm excited because I never seen any of this art before, but I'm not excited to be like, oh my God, are we going to pull something crazy? Because it's just not there. And you know, maybe it's, that's just because, Hey, it's a playable card game. Like hey, just the art is so beautiful, but I just, I don't know. Like none of these cards. Oh my God, a kaboom card. No! Like uh, it's not happening for me. And you know, I don't know if that's, you know, with everyone, maybe that's just me. And like, I'm not all in it for the money. Like I, again, I love the art, but it's just the rarities just aren't there. It's just really only the enchanted. And that's what you would go crazy for. Besides that, there's really nothing to this. And, you know, of course, every TCG, you're going to have the people that collect, you know, the people that play and, you know, it's Disney. So believe, oh my God, an aerial card like this, <laughs> this is what I'd be like, you know, going crazy for in a way, but it's not even, again, it's just the hollow isn't, it's gorgeous art. I'm not even caring about the hollow or anything. So I, I don't know. I think going forward, they definitely need to up the gimmicks with these cards and i feel like you could do so much just take a page out of pokemon or something 
because it's just not really doing it. You know, I, I think ass, I, I don't know, maybe stomach, mouth. I, I don't know what I'm looking at here, but another aerial card and then Gotham, uh, <laughs> Batman, I, I don't know. So it, it's weird. I also, I would love to see Kingdom Hearts in this a lot. I love Kingdom Hearts, but besides that, that's my rant. I really don't know what else to say about this product. Do I think Lorcana is investable? Uh, yes, 100%. Do I think it's collectible? Uh, not really. I mean, I guess if you want like Master Sets, sure, it's collectible. The art is gorgeous, but there really is no chase cards to this. I've got a dream. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. There just really isn't much. I think if you're a sealed collector, then this is probably something you can easily flip in the future. Because uh, it's Disney, because it's like the first couple of products. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just none of these cards are like, that's a gorgeous card, Tinkerbell. None of these cards are just, you know, boys, boys on fire. Another Simba card. Pretty dope. I don't know. That's that's my rant. I got nothing much to say. So yeah, we're, uh, we got a couple more packs left. I think four. And we still haven't hit a enchanted card i'm gonna be really upset if we don't get at least one because i could have swore it was at least one guarantee and that's another thing that's gonna be really upsetting if they don't even guarantee it because you know at least pokemon they'll guarantee you a certain amount of hits and rarities but you know if this game doesn't do that you're also fucking destroying that too because why would you why would you want to buy a 120 dollar booster box and not even be guaranteed one of the big chase cards so i don't know we got stitch there's a lot to talk about to think about nyla nala i don't know oh my god what did i drop all right, I didn't drop anything too crazy. The way it, like, shot out, I was, like, low-key thinking that was the Enchanted. Low-key, it would be my luck that I just, like, ruined the Enchanted. But here we go. Captain again, sleeping. A whale. Pluto. And another landscape card. We are down to our last pack. Last pack magic, I pray to God. We get at least one enchanted card because this will really suck if we don't. All right. Razu, Webby, Sir Hiss, the Queen, Captain Amelia, heart that has been hurt, uh, dive bombing, and nothing. Nope, we got the forbidden mountain as always thank you so much for watching but i'm gonna give you my honest opinion i really don't find lorcana all that fun to open as far as getting your money's worth um this opening was actually pretty disappointing the fact that we didn't get any crazy enchanted card kind of upsetting now if the enchanted cards are you know, like who knows maybe they're not guaranteed one per box they probably aren't which makes them even more of a chase but this really in a way, it kind of sucks. It, I would honestly say that if these enchanted cards are around $100, buy the singles outright. Don't even waste your time with a booster box or packs because you're not going to win. It really takes away from this product, honestly, in this TCG. Again, that's if these cards are around 100 Like if these cards are like three, 400 bucks, 600 bucks, like, you know, how crazy the prices are now, then all right, I can understand buying packs, buying a booster box, hoping to pull a crazy card, but... The fact that you're not guaranteed anything. And the thing is, you know, it's different. Like Pokemon, right? Like you have the alt arts, which are the crazy ones. Like we're talking Sword and Shield and they're worth a lot of money, right? You just say we're talking Evolving Skies. You're hoping to pull one of those alt arts, but say you get none. At least you're getting all these different rarity cards. You're getting a couple gold or something. You're, you're getting some decent cards. So it's like, ah, oh, man, I didn't get the alt art I wanted, but at least I got this, right? It's not like this. It's either you get the enchanted or you're fucked. It's over. Like, and, and that really sucks. Like, all I really got was like 36 basic cold uh, uh, foil, foil hollows, and that's it. Like, these are maybe worth a dollar. You know, I'm sure one of these cards is going to be like, you know, a $30 card maybe or playable, but you really wouldn't know that if you're a collector and you don't play. So, 
as it, this is it's rough you know i guess collecting like a sealed product booster boxes sure that's fine but if you're hoping to open this product and pull the cards the enchanted cards you want you're not it's not going to happen and this is really kind kind of sad i i really hope that in the future lorcana will do more gimmicks but um as of right now i got shafted so thank you look <laughs> At the end of the day, it's Disney. You're doing this for fun. It's a fun opening. So you got to look at it like that. But if again, if you're trying to pull the great cards, it ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm.